correct his wager. A modest one for the first time. That takes him to 24,007. Oh, gosh, 20,000. What a payday. 46,000. And with that, James Hold Howard winning streak on Jeopardy ended this past Monday. Russell, of course, likes to call him Jeopardy James. After 32 games, Jeopardy James had won. 2462216 dollars through Friday's episode, leaving him a little more than 58000 shy of the record for earnings set by Ken Jennings in 2004. Okay, so there's been a lot of questions following that game on Monday. For instance, why did Jeopardy James, who typically bid high, make such a low wager, a modest wager, as we heard on his final Jeopardy. He says it was because of math. We wanted to bring in someone to weigh in on this, someone who knows the game <laughs> of Jeopardy herself, <laughs> Emily Herndon, joining us now. You did very well when yes. you competed on Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you guys, she has done her homework. She has worked through every possible scenario. So before we get to that last wager, uh, just your thoughts on Jeopardy James' last game overall. You know, he, um, he did what he always likes to do, which is to find the daily doubles early uh, in the first round. However, he didn't have enough money. You can only risk up to $1,000 mm -hmm. if you don't have more than 1000 um, So he did that, but then in the second round, when he normally farms out the two daily doubles and gets so far ahead of everybody, she found them, Emma found them, and got the two daily doubles herself, and that's how she cut him off at the knees. She found those daily doubles and basically took away his ability to get so far ahead of her. And that's, I guess, is true. He says that mm -hmm. his modest wager was math, simply right. math, and right. you've done the calculations, mm -hmm. and that's a great explanation. Mm -hmm. um, did you follow his journey? Um, I know everybody seemed to be talking about it, and right. you know, just kind of an unusual stint yeah. on Jeopardy. I kept up with it a little bit, mostly yeah. through um, news and social media channels, just to kind of see, you know, how's he doing? Has he broken some records? Because after a while, you kind of learned what to expect. Uh -huh. um, but I did actually watch the the game with Emma because I wanted to see I had heard a little bit of you know rumors on the internet that that might be the night um, so I made sure to watch and sure enough um, that's what happened and I did notice that he made that wager but again in that scenario she was ahead of him he was in second place that doesn't normally happen for James so in order for him to kind of hedge his bets if you will he had to make that wager and it was the smartest thing he could have done in that situation you and I joked about the strategy but there's <laughs> a lot of strategy when there it comes is. to Jeopardy there really is and I mean I had to do a little bit of that myself I was in second place in my game mm -hmm. and so therefore I had to figure out what's third place going to do what's first place going to do how am I going to win this game coming from behind um, so it takes a lot of, of, you know, forethought and a lot of math really quick because they give you a little scratch yeah. paper and you got to do your math real quick. And I'm not a, not a math expert, but uh, me and little little Alex here, we did our math together. We figured things out. That's awesome. And she, she's got the, yeah, the paper to so prove cute. it. I could yeah. let you see all of her um, different scenarios and how she worked through uh, the different ways mm -hmm. that the, the show and the game could play out. Well, what's your big takeaway from your time on Jeopardy? Um, that it's... It's one of those situations where you go in and you do the absolute best you can do. There is no way that you are going to throw a game. There's no way that you're going to lose on purpose. Mm -hmm. There's no way that you're going to do anything except the absolute most you can possibly do to win. Um, and so that's where I think a lot of people are mistaken is that James didn't throw that game. He didn't lose that game on purpose. He did exactly what he needed to do in that situation and that's all that he could do. So he did the absolute best he could, and that's all anybody does when they're on a show like that. Emily, with great perspective, thank you so much You're for coming welcome. back. We appreciate you working <laughs> through all those problems in sure. your strategy. Awesome. <laughs>